Hi, this is Ryan with Butcher Tattooing. We've got another positioning basics video for you. Today we're going to give you a couple tips on how to tattoo hands effectively. All right. Okay, now that's over. Positioning basics, hands. We've all had to do hand tattoos. I'm going to take my phone out of my pocket here. Um, and you know, it's trying to find a way of just being able to keep someone's hand still because the hand hurts, right? Keeping the tattoo pointed up and trying to find ways that like make it easier for the person to just like sit through it, right? Um, it's hard to get a stretch on hands, especially when they're splayed out like this, right? It'd be easier if somebody makes a fist like this, but what we're doing is we're actually creating an uneven stretch across the hand when somebody decides to flex like this. On the meteor part by the thumb, it's always gonna be a lot loose, right? Maybe there's gonna be a bit of muscle that's there. Up by the wrist, depending on how they're turning, it's just not gonna be very good. And then same like down by the knuckles, it may be tight, the back of the hand isn't. So like it's, it's totally uneven, right? Realistically, what we want to do is be able to have the person turn their hand a little bit, pivoting on the wrist while we're going, to make sure that we can like have them do the stretch uh, for us. We don't have to put as much effort into actually doing it. So, positioning basics. More often than not, what do we do? Let's bring out our friendly stick people here. If we're on our seat, chilling, doing a tattoo, right? We've got a hand, armrest, We've got a hand on an armrest hanging over the edge, right? The person's arm pulled back up here. They're sitting relatively close, maybe shoulders up. They don't feel very good. Um, and we just kind of rest it on that hand rest and we work off of it. And this, this works pretty well, right? The only bad thing about it is that the client, after a period of time, if they're sitting like this, their, their wrist can get pretty sore. Um, and when they start feeling discomfort, on average, the client is going to sit for less and less time the longer that, that goes on. So um, this is the fail-safe method, right? Grab an armrest, put their hand on top of it, make them grab the edge, you know, and hold on to it, and you just you just give her. Um, I'm going to put my eraser at this time. Oh, it's way over here. Jeez. Um, I, I think that works great. Uh, when in doubt, do it. More often than not, I have a, another way I like to do it um, when people are willing, able, or at least you know somewhat okay being kind of in close personal contact when we're doing tattoos. That's it's just kind of what we do. We'll grab the same person. We're gonna set us on our stool again. Do do do. And um, instead of having just that armrest where we want, you know, like the person grabbing onto it, I, I usually I can take two. Right. I'll have one short ways. It's actually gonna be going backwards. Then I'm going to rest my arm on, my forearm, for whatever's going to be happening with my stretching bits here. And uh, I'm going to have that client reach across, and I'm going to have them grab my wrist, right? This may seem weird, right? But what I'm going to do, because realistically, if they have enough of a grip, especially something that's relatively soft, and we, I've seen people use stress balls wrapped in plastic, which is just kind of gross to me. Um, I'll grab a, you know, a dental bib, wrap it in plastic, just get my arm totally covered up. If you have sleeves, um, like uh, non-permeable plastic sleeves, this works as well. And I'll have them just grab my wrist, right? If they meet hook my wrist, and they're sitting there, well, that's a small head, um, dying, evidently, by the way that this is kind of set up right now, right? If they're grabbing onto my wrist, I can just tattoo, pull them closer, do what I want to to make sure I can get those rolls. And I'm able to move their hand and their wrist, you know, effectively just by being able to position it like this. Um, it works better if you're working opposite arms. Um, so if you're tattooing your right hand dominant and you're tattooing the left hand on someone, this works really, really well. If it's same hand, it can get kind of difficult because you're going to be working almost at an angle while you're doing this. So sometimes you have to reposition the person instead of sitting directly across from you, maybe to be sitting a little bit to the left or the right. But it's a great way just to like rest your arm and that way you can direct them where you want to when you're running lines, right? You can be using both of your hands to sculpt and move at the same time. Um, don't don't try this if if you're beginning to tattoo. Um, it's not probably the easiest thing to do. But if you are an experienced tattooer and you're very confident with like your machine work, um, you're able to like talk and converse with the clients really well, and you have good trust between you. Um, this is a great way to just like kind of take that space, be able to bring it closer to you, kind of get in their bubble at the same time, and just focus on what you're doing, right? Conversation can be a little bit strained because you're real close to each other on average. Um, but it, as far as I know, sitting like this, being able to do stuff, I can keep my back straighter. I can keep them kind of a little bit more uncomfortable with their back. So, I mean, they're already getting their hand tattooed, so it's not too big of a deal. But they're gonna be focusing on taking care of themselves while you're focusing on taking care of yourself, right? 
and doing just like a good tattoo. So that's it, hands. You can grip it or you can grip it, one or the other. That's it for today. This is Ryan from Better Tattooing, signing off.